bit of rain has been on loan to my local game store, serving on the front line day in, day out as armies of every type stomp all over it. It's been just over a year, so I wonder how it has held up, and maybe go back in and make any necessary repairs. It's not OCD, I'm just curious to what in the creation process was a bad move, or what could have been done better. First up, my generators made from toy nerf guns and pen trays. Some of the fence post caps came off, a post broke away, and the generator and conduit all detached. Looks like the hot glue just didn't hold up to the constant usage. The chemical tank made from a can of vodka? Oof. Yep, the hot glue really isn't the adhesive master I was hoping for. The imperial outposts? These held up really well, one bit of flare fell off, but otherwise these chonky fellows held up brilliantly. The alien plants. Ouch. I think these are beyond help. I should have guessed. All the spiky bits and the things that can get snagged on stuff, the chance of these surviving was rather new. They were a very fun project though. The walkways. Who knows? I guess they were really attractive because someone made off with the lot. Yep, they were actually stolen. The Imperial Shrine took the year of use like a champ. A few flags broke off, but that's about all. The Imperial Headquarters, same situation. A wing fell off, but that's about it. The rest of the structure held up great. The Choke Station, again, endured really well. The catwalk detached a little, but otherwise it's in the same shape as the day I took it in. The Storage Shed. Looks like again the hot glue let me down and the containers all detached from the floor and from each other, but the fence kept everything inside so this should be an easy fix. The fueling stations, again hot glue fouls and things just detached. Some held, but the piping seems to be the weakest thing I did. The same thing happened to the bunker axis, just the three pipes came away, so I need to find a way to really secure these things. Okay, let's get to mending. Ah oh, Christ! Now I've got the Bagpuss Mending song in my head, which made me want to listen to it, so I did. But it did let me discover that, of course, there's a drum and bass version of it. First up, the generators. A really simple solve here. I just need to re-glue. To improve connectivity, I dragged the pipes and the generator along some sandpaper to get rid of the glue and the paint to just leave the plastic exposed. Then on goes the super glue and onto the base they go. Cut some new post caps from the Nerf things, super glue to reaffix the fallen post, glue the caps back on top and dab on some Mod Podge and paint. Okay, generators ready to go back into rotation and we'll see how they hold up with the super glue replacing the hot glue. The bunker access. The exacto deployed to carve off the excess hot glue. Okay, that's too fiddly. Breaking out the utility knife. Extend the blade and cut away and also trim the glue off the pipes. Then dragged along the sandpaper to get a nice exposed plastic surface. Super glue reattach and then the Mod Podge and black acrylic dabbed around the connection to hide the white of the glue. Bunker access restored. Let's see if the pipes hold up and stay affixed. The rest of it is pretty much invulnerable, which considering what it is supposed to represent, well, that's pretty apt. The chemical tank. Trim off the hot glue residue from the pipes and drag against the sandpaper. The cradle, carve off the glue there as well. Super glue and the tank goes back into the cradle. Add the pipes, restore the ladder that accesses the platform, and then grab in the Mod Podge and paint. Dabs here and there to restore that dark industrial motif. And here's my chemical tank, no longer all busted up, fully restored and looking good. I'm interested to see how long this lasts. The storage shed, this is reassuring. The wire tray is still sturdily connected to the base, and that's because I super glued it rather than hot glued it. So I had to saw along with the exacto to carve it away. A little dab of glue here, and then reattach the hazard striping cardboard strips to the foam core. Some grey and Mod Podge to coat the areas where the paint had come away when the containers broke off. You know what? That concrete looks way too bright and clean. Let's correct that and add a nice wash of Nuln Oil. 
much better. Okay, glue the barrels back to the trays, glue the trays back to the base, and glue the wire tray back into place to seal everything in. The toxic waste storage shed, not only repaired and restored, but slightly improved as well. Right, last up for this batch of repairs, the fueling stations. Drag the air pump nozzle along the sandpaper and glue back to the container. Same thing for the catwalk. Clean up the join and glue it back into place, add some Mod Podge and paint to hide the glue and the cracks from where it attached. I'm actually short a couple of pipes, but there's still plenty left in my big old bag of pipes, so no problem there. Grab a few and off to my hiking boot box for a blast of Chaos Black Primer. While they dry, Mod Podge and grey acrylic to touch up all the areas of super glue, and there's a few nicks and knocks that have exposed the polystyrene beneath. Some super glue to reattach the flagpole to help support the catwalk. I think that's why there's the hole in the top. I think someone tried to just insert the pole into the main structure after it broke off. Anyway, a little dry brush of silver on the newly primed pipes, and I'm going to push the pipes into the styrofoam enough so that the area of pipe that touches the ground meets the wall, so I can glue it there as well, attaching them in two places and hopefully making them more durable. You know what? I was never that happy with the cardboard gravestones. But now, I have a 3D printer, so I can upgrade. The previous gravestones are really in there though, and I needed to use pliers to haul them out. And then I removed a couple of rocks as well to make room. I found these on 3D Cult for free, and now will be perfect. I printed them up, primed them, gave them a dry brush of grey, and glued them back in place. Added some more Elmers, a sprinkle of sand, and glued the rocks back in place. Right, here we are, the fueling stations, pipes replaced and the rock patched up, the flag fluttering proud, and the walkway held in place. The Prometheum station, fully restored, and now with three Imperial gravestones to mark the final resting place of the workers who perished here. So, the main lesson learned, hot glue is good, but over time it'll fail and things will start breaking off. Super glue appears the way to go, we'll see how these terrain pieces hold up with it.